Hi, Nixie here, and I'm back with another Art Addicts Alliance video. So I just checked my last uploaded video was two weeks ago, and I am going to sound like I'm making this stuff up, but uh, I got sick again. I don't even know, man. But anyway, the theme for this month is spooky, and there is another. I think it was Mini, and obviously I took spooky because that's what I love. And I don't feel like challenging myself with some other stuff at the moment. Because even my Inktober pieces that I was doing is interrupted because of my poor, poor health. But also there was a thing that I've been planning for months now. And that is recreating cursed paintings. And what's the best time to do that? Well, it's now. In this theme, which is spooky. Yeah. Because nothing is spookier than cursed painting, right? I think. Well, it's one of the spooky things. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. But first, I can't really recall what cursed paintings I know right off the bat. So here we are in YouTube right now. And we're just gonna look at the lists. Or a video with the list of, you know, cursed painting. Cursed paintings. What is this? What is this thumbnail? Okay? <laughs> no, you do not do this. This thumbnail, okay, I'm telling you now, I'm debunking this sh stuff right here. This old woman right here, that is a Filipino artist. And she is always like our aswang or ghost lady in our horror movies here, okay? She's freaking Filipina. <laughs> and that is not a horror version of Mona Lisa, okay? Most amazing top 10. Ah. Uh, and the video is done. I've watched it all. And these are the paintings that was listed here. However, this number 8, the suicide girl. This is it. And I know for a fact that this one is not really a cursed painting. This artwork is actually stolen from a great artist. And I'm pretty sure I've seen the finished version of this one. And I think she has crown and stuff and either way this is a really good painting and i am leaving it here in my list because sure i'd love to one day recreate it even though it's not really a cursed painting that could be interesting but now we have this list and the only thing that i am actually familiar with is this one which is the top one in this video but you know it's number 10 in my list because can't be bothered correcting that now we're just gonna put it in a random picker thing and let it decide what the heck <laughs> it's not what i was copying oh no how did i mess that up so bad we're just gonna let this pick for us and the winner is which girl huh that's interesting because it kind of reminds me of that other painting the suicide girl kind of what the heck is this now i'm just gonna show you an image of that painting you know which girl painting hopefully that comes out it did not what cur uh which girl cursed painting it's not here what in the world uh this is it they said they couldn't find a lot of information about the painting, like... Okay, here it is, the portrait of the witch girl. It belonged to a Spanish man who assured that the painting followed him with her eyes. It is also said that at night, a gray silhouette appeared on the side of the painting that many believed is Madame Dauphine LaLaurie. That's it? Nothing much about it, doesn't it? And we don't have a lot of information about this painting in particular i don't know if it curses you when you're just looking at it even though it's through digital or maybe it needs to be in real life but if we are getting cursed just by looking at it well i'm not alone because you're watching this video ha you're gonna get cursed with me awesome yeah but before we talk about this painting Art Addicts Alliance is a group of artists around the world and we post mostly 
art videos in our YouTube channels. Every month, we do a collaborative video where we vote on a specific theme and then we make art using that prompt. We have two themes actually, so every one of us have a choice on which theme we'd want to do. Like for this month, we have spooky and mini. I obviously chose spooky because yes. Currently, we have 13 members. Jazz Capri, Web Light Dreams, Jenna Gets Creative, Pandimensional Space Zombie, All Funnies and Games, Aurora's Art World, Blue Flynn, Artsy Pineapple, Enjoy Drawing with Mary, Dark Star Creations. Oh, we do have very fresh, very new members. Welcome to Jude's Art Desk and Fuzzy Dragons. And of course, last but not the least, yours truly. All of their channels are linked down in the descriptions, so make sure to check them all out. We also have a Discord server where you can hang out with us. You can also help vote for a monthly theme there. And if you are interested in joining us, everything you need to know to apply is there. You can also ask people in Discord about it. All the links are down in the descriptions and if you want to know what materials I use for this painting, they're all listed down too. Alrighty then, about this painting. You can already see that I didn't really go for the original color of it. At first, I considered just really copying the whole thing, but then I know for a fact that I will regret it later. So I decided to change it up to what I'd enjoy more. In this case, I am really into peachy red colors, so I used those. And you know, kind of recreating this painting in my style. Like I mentioned earlier, there is not much information about this painting aside from it was once owned by a Spanish man and he thinks that the eyes of the girl in the painting is following him around and that sometimes he also sees a silhouette of a woman beside it which he believes to be Madame Delphine Lalori. He doesn't really have a good basis about the little girl actually being a witch or if the silhouette was Madame Delphine Lalori, or if it really is cursed. But something about it being somewhat of a mystery could be really creepy for some people. But for me, and since I have been staring at the painting because I have to, because I'm recreating it and stuff, I personally don't feel any bad energy attached to it. To be honest, if anything, I kind of feel bad for the kid because she is obviously sad at the painting. I can't really consider this as a cursed item, but more like there is a spirit that is attached to it. Now, how did that man know for sure it was Madame Delphine Lalori? Who knows? Maybe it's because of the fact that Madame Lalori is a famous character throughout the history. Madame Lalori born in New Orleans, Spanish Louisiana on 1787 as Marie Delphine McCarthy. Her parents and relatives are prominent to their community. It's safe to say that she was born in a wealthy family. 1825 with a younger physician named Leonard Louis Nicholas Lalaurie, she would buy a two-story mansion complete with attached slave quarters. She would live there with her third husband and two of her daughters. This is the mansion where she'd torture, murder, and experiment on her slaves. I'm pretty sure now you have an idea as to why Madame Lalaurie is famous. And that's not because she's pretty and she was rich and she was a socialite in her time. Between the years 1831 to 1834, Madame Lalaurie would mistreat her slaves within the walls of her mansion. But of course, things like this don't usually remain hidden. People who visit her mansion would witness the state of her slaves, describing them as being very malnourished and weak and clear signs of abuse all over their bodies. It was 1834 
that the Lalaurie mansion caught on fire. And when the authorities investigated the burning mansion, they saw a 70-year-old woman chained to the stove and told them that she was the one who started the fire in an attempt to kill herself because she would rather die than be brought to the uppermost room where some slaves were brought never to return again as punished by Madame Lalaurie. Breaking into slave quarters to make sure everyone has gone out the burning building, bystanders found more slaves in a very, very horrible condition. What Madame Lalaurie did to those people are just downright inhumane and irredeemable. And this part is the worst part of the story. Madame Lalaurie managed to escape justice and fled to France. But oh no, her story of murderous acts against slaves are not done. You'd think she's learned her lessons and keep her head down to remain irretraceable. No. One day, her new neighbors saw her with a young slave girl who was combing her hair and the girl accidentally pulled on her hair and this was enough reason for her to go batshit crazy. She was seen to chase the poor girl with a whip up to the rooftop of her mansion. The little girl, in fear of Delphine's rage, jumped off to her death. It was said that Delphine might have buried the little girl's corpse in her backyard. Just like what she always does in the Lalaurie mansion. Madame Lalaurie in 1849 died at the age of 62. And that was a very shortened summary of Madame Delphine Lalaurie. It didn't really have any connection whatsoever with the painting. But at least we talked about something spooky and I'm not going to lie, a sad, sad history. I do wish in the future though, that we will get more information about this supposedly cursed painting of a witch girl and what it has to do with Madame Lalaurie. But for now, I hope this video is a little bit informative at least about the history of Madame Lalaurie. And just so you know, this is part one of recreating cursed paintings. So if you want to see more of this, let me know in the comment section. Do you think this painting is cursed? Do you think that my painting is cursed? Am I cursed now? If I am, I'll definitely give you an update. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to not miss a video. And maybe hit that like button if you want other people to get cursed. It's Halloween. People are looking to get spooked. Alright, I will see you all on my next one. Don't look behind you. They're watching.